Video three on this air conditioning on the 2010 Honda CRV. So in the last video, you see it was low. It only had 190 grams out of 440 to 490 gram factory charge. It had nearly 6% air mixed in refrigerant. And I now have it filled. I just wanted to show you what some normal temperatures look like at these ambient conditions right here because there's people who use rules of thumb and think what a high side and low side pressure should be where in fact this is what it is right here 98 on the high side 25 on the low side we're varying between 38 degrees and 42 degrees on the duct dash temperature and let's go inside I have all the windows open, so I'm loading it as much as I can. And I have it on fresh air, not recycle. And so I'm trying to take the hottest air I can in through the dash, which even with the hot air coming from the radiator, through the condenser, through the radiator, over the engine, and being sucked down into the crowd, here's my temperature of the air being sucked into the evaporator box through the filter, which, I will show you is the actual temperature not the temperature of outside air if you look right down there i open this up and i have the tip of the air probe way down in there right on top of the air box right where the filter takes in the mixed air so it gets the complete air temperature mix of all this hot air coming over here getting sucked in but it also gets the cold air mix from here the cold air from the air and the mixture of this like 100 degree air plus the cold air out here for this morning comes out to 65 degrees going over the dash so let's up the rpms a little bit and see what happens okay you can see the rpms in the background let's go up to about you're cruising down the street at about 1600 17 1800 rpms somewhere right around there see how this one reacts so you see the compressor this is a manual compressor this is not a um, breakaway clutch compressor this is actually has a clutch on it and it's cycling you see we're hitting 36 degrees Fahrenheit coming out of my dash temperature gauge right there and you can see when the clutch click clicks off the pressures and temperatures turn off the low side goes high and, and look at that section look at how low that section is now wouldn't that be considered abnormal so if I was using a can of AC Pro right now AC Pro in their little green range goes from somewhere like 25 psi to was it 45 psi 50 psi can't remember it's it's in my car actually I keep it as a prop to show people the shit that goes on in this industry um, so 14 psi would be a little low so how about we hook up that can of AC Pro and we just keep on filling this sucker up until it hits 25 35 45 psi and according to AC Pro that would be good so that's enough said about using AC Pro and I got an incoming call again got a break off I'll see you guys later while I grab this call